supposed to pick you up in the carpool for work. Now you done gave your car to your spouse so they could go do what they want to do. Now you sitting there waiting on the carpool to come pick you up. They don't pick you up. Now they late. Man, I had a hard time getting up this morning, man. I'm glad, but I'm here though. Whoa, man. That's an excuse. What do you mean you late? You had a hard time getting up. I'm sitting up here waiting on you to pick me up and you come 45 minutes late. Now I'm late for work. See that excuse? That does okay for I was sick this morning. I didn't fill up to it. That excuse works wonderful for you. But the person receiving the excuse gets nothing. You've got to remove excuses from your vocabulary and your walk in life. See, I don't really accept excuses from anybody in my camp. If you're an employee, you work for me. I don't do excuses because I don't give none. Today, for example, I'm not feeling real well. You know, my sign assistant kicked in. I had a troublesome night last night. I'm not feeling well. But guess what? I came to work on the radio today, and I'll do these two shows I got to do today. Because I, NBC, iHeart, they don't care about my excuses. People who are looking for me to wake them up in the morning, give them a laugh, or give them a thought starter, they're not looking for my excuses. They're just looking for the results. The excuses don't do me no good. Now, there's some days all of us are not up to par. We're not 100%. But I'm not, I don't care about the excuses. I don't accept excuses because I don't give excuses. The other thing I remove from my life is blame. And once you blame another person, man, this is what happened with blame. Blame and excuses, listen to me. Finger pointing does nothing. Because you've heard the old saying, every time you point your finger at a person, you notice there's three of them pointing back at you. Once you are in the blame business and the excuse business, you forfeit your chance for growth. I'll give you an example. If you're always talking about it's somebody else's fault, and you always have an excuse why something didn't get done or accomplished, guess what? Now you can't grow. You can't grow. You can't fix it. Because the reason why it didn't happen or the reason why you didn't accomplish it is because you blame someone else and you have an excuse. Once you start accepting blame and excuses, you forfeit your chance for growth. You kill any chance for change. Sometimes, all you have to do as a person is search within yourself and find out what it is about you that you could change that could start producing a better result. But if you always blaming somebody else and providing and accepting excuses from yourself and other people, guess what you've done? You've killed your chance for change. Sometimes you could be doing a whole lot better in life if you would just change. If you would search yourself and change something about you you would be doing so much better if you just search yourself, stop allowing excuses to be a part of your makeup and stop allowing blame to be a part of it. And you would discover a lot of this is just you. It could be you. Another thing that blame and excuse it does, it allows you to fail favorably. You know, man, you can just get all right with failing. You can fail favorably because it ain't my fault. And I didn't do it because it was cold outside. So, ta-da, you allow yourself to fail favorably. That's an ugly spot to be in. But blame and excuses allows you to fail favorably. Like, it's okay to fail because it ain't my fault. Because I have an excuse and it's they fault. Blame and excuses, man, is a very, very dangerous thing out there. Also, blame and excuses promotes a climate of failure. It just permeates, man, throughout your life. And next thing you know, you ain't accomplishing nothing. Because if blaming, blame and excuses are part of your makeup, you now have promoted a climate for failure. It's okay. It's okay, because I have a reason why. Why you didn't finish school? Because cause it was too cold to go. Why you didn't finish school? Because that test was too hard. I didn't study them two pages. I thought they said the first chapter. She questions us on the first three chapters. I didn't hear that. That's the only reason I failed. And you get all right with it. 
When you're no longer the reason why something happens, you no longer have control over what happens. Let me say that to you one more time. When you're no longer the reason why something happens, you ain't got to take responsibility. You're not the reason. Stop allowing blame and excuses to enter into your makeup. They serve nobody any good, especially you. Those are my closing remarks. All right, now. 